So we've been into four and three and one. It's time for number two. I've got to put on my hard hat first. Hang on. All right. <laughs> Here we go. And this one has the native name Koyen, which means moon. If I've pronounced it incorrectly, you can leave a comment. So you can see there's the ocean, the ocean's out there. This is now familiar walk. I almost feel like I know what's coming. All right, it's dark in here at the moment. So Laura's gonna go and switch the lights on for us. We knew it was gonna be dark because they've been doing calibration in here today. Brady said, let there be light. And there was. Well, it was switched on for him anyway. So while the light comes up, I'll switch it up a little bit on my camera and cheat. There we go. So here we go. There's the azimuth disc as usual. Exact same layout as all the other ones. You've got the cell there. The primary mirror sits on top. Underneath, just there, there are all the actuators for the active optics. And, well, we'll have a walk around. Let's step onto the azimuth. Have a little look. This is X Shooter, which must be one of the better names. Very cool. This is a spectrograph doing all spectrums, UV, visible light and infrared. Sitting here on the bottom of the telescope, under the primary mirror, the Cassegrain focus. I talked earlier, in fact I talked when we were in UT4 about air conditioning. Those big silver ducts there, they're the air conditioning ducts. If I follow that one up to the top. There you go. Keeping it cool here for later on. Okay, well, let's go upstairs and see what they've got at the two Nazmuths. It's lovely and light up here. Is it painted a different colour, this one? No? It seems lighter up here today. We've just never had the lights on so bright, maybe. Anyway, here we go. It's really exciting being here late in the afternoon, just a couple of hours before everything starts. The calm before the storm. The giant eye waiting to open. So this is Uvis, another spectrograph. All three instruments attached here to UT2 are spectrographs. And we'll make, continue making our way around the outside of the dome. They call this being at the Nazmuth level, obviously because there and there are the two Nazmuths of the telescope. And here's the third spectrograph attached to UT2. This is flames. Again, very boxy. Tells us something about how spectrographs work, that they need these big sealed boxes attached to them. All very contained. A lot of the other instruments we've seen at the other three were very exposed and had cables everywhere. These ones are a lot more, a lot more sealed up. And there we go, that's where everything's going to open up later on. So this is interesting, if I can film it for you. Let's see if I can get the shot. There we go. This is the first time we've seen this in the telescopes. You can see there, the tertiary mirror is kind of off to the side, not reflecting the light, so that the light can go down to the, the Cassegrain instrument. All the other ones we've seen so far, it's been deflecting it off to one of the Nazmuths. You can see the mirror there to the right. So sometimes it sits there on an angle, deflecting the light, but there it's been moved off, leaving a hole for the light to go down there. So in this case, we would have had the light come from the heavens onto that stonking great primary mirror there, up to the secondary, there's that there, and this time all the way back through the hole that's been left by moving the tertiary mirror down the bottom, down to X shooter, which we saw before. But of course later on they might decide to put the tertiary mirror back on, in which case the, the light will be deflected off to one of the two Nazmuths, where it can be used by those ones instead. All depends what you want to do with that light. So that's it everyone, we've got the whole set, we've been in all four. 
in a short space of time as well. Very lucky. Thanks, Laura. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Thank you.